What's up, YouTube? Stat44 coming in with another video. Five things men judge about women. Before I get started, I'm going to give a shout out to all my new subscribers, all my regular subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button in the corner of your screen. Hit that notification, notification bell as well. You get all my videos sent straight to your phone or your device as soon as I put one up on YouTube. But let's get right to this video. Five things that men judge about women. Yes, I did say judge. At the end of the day, you got simps, you got real men, and women sometimes I feel like we women get men confused, real men confused to simps. Now, simps don't have no type of boundaries, no type of respect for themselves. But real men have boundaries, respects, they have discernment of who they want around them and who they don't want around them. They know the understanding of the word no. Everything that look good don't mean it's good. They understand that they think with their big head, not their little head. And that's what men think. Simps think with the head down here and putting a woman on a pedestal. And it's clear-cut difference. The clear-cut difference is that a man that's a man, other women want these men. A simp is simp want every other woman. So how do we get to this point when a man understand who he is as a man? Because you should judge women just like they judge us. But sometimes as a man, so many simps in the world, when you start judging women, they feel like you might be a misogynist or an asshole or stuck up or whatever. But I did that video a long time ago, but we're doing this video. But the first thing a man would judge a woman on is her look and her fitness. Now, looks and fitness go hand in hand. We'll judge her off if her hair long. If her hair long, she probably want to be with a dude that pay all the bills. If her hair short, she might be gay, you know, but if her hair short, her hair a little bit like short, uh, to, to her shoulders, she might want to be a boss type chick. It's other ways we judge women off they look if it's too much, uh, too much makeup, too much too much eyelashes, too much, too much this, too much that, you might be a ratchet chick. But we look at the look to judge what what type of chick she is. I know it's prejudging, it's pre-selection, because everything is prejudging and pre-selection. But we know in our history as a man, we know what works for us, the classy chick or the trashy chick. And most men that 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 know what works for them is a classy look on a woman. And her fitness need to be on point because if men that follow my channel, they trying to plan purpose program and they trying to hit this gym. They trying to live the best version, be the best version of themselves. So if you're going to be a man of a leadership, you got to have a woman that got the same qualities you have. You are a reflection of yourself. So if she's not hitting the gym, that's another thing we judge. All right. So let's get to number two because I spend a lot of time on number one. Number two, how many kids does she have? Like, at the end of the day, this is a deal breaker for men and a deal breaker for women. So, a guy going to judge is what did you require when you do have children, if you do have children as a woman? Did you require marriage? Uh, was you young and dumb and you made your mistake and you had a baby at 18, 19, which is nothing wrong with it? Or did you actually require marriage? Or are you just sitting around being a baby mama? You got two, three other dudes, and you want me to come in and be a sponsor and help your situation? That's how men think. You know, at the end of the day, women are like, well, my kids are good. My kids are this. But at the end of the day, a man going to look at your children as their people. And behind those people is other men that made those people to multiply. Just like GMB said on our channel the other day, if a lion took over another prey, he's going to kill all the little cubs from another lion to start his own kingdom. So a lot of times men would judge a woman off, off the children she has or what the situation is. Because sometimes it's the juice ain't worth it, worth the squeeze. I ain't saying all the time. It's always an exception against the rule. So, But that's another thing men judge. Number three. Do she seem feminine or are she masculine? Because a lot of women sometimes carry these masculine traits. A man don't want to date another man. A man want to date a woman with, uh, you know, with some uh, good qualities of being very exuberant, very nice, very feminine. He wants to feel like she's a piece to his pillow, like my girl China White say. So if a woman's not bringing a man peace, a man is going to keep it moving because there's so many options out here when he becomes the best version of himself and he works on himself, 
he ain't got time to be dealing with a woman that's going to be nagging, uh, masculine, demanding, too much to the point independent. Like, no man wants to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Man want to give a woman flowers, not give a, get frustration from a woman. So, at the end of the day, he want to know if she's feminine to even accept those flowers or too masculine to understand what flowers mean to her. That's my number uh, th uh, number three. Number four, uh, her spirituality. You know, I know everything is surface level with the first three, but we don't get to the spiritual until we understand the look, we understand the kid situation, we understand the femininity because the spirituality, I know it should come number one, but at the end of the day, you got to get to know a person. So, a person's spirituality helps a long way because you want to know, do she understand the natural order? Do she realize that the man is the head, the woman is the neck? Is she good with her role of being a help meet? And a lot of times women are so masculine, they're out of their spirituality. Femininity should be a part of your spirituality because you are the nurturer. The man is the protector. The woman is the nurturer because their life is about your protection and your affection. And the father always bring the uh, always bring the protection the mother always bring the affection and to be you know being your spirituality you got to understand the natural order to to maintain your life and maintain the ones around you to build a legacy for your daughters your granddaughters and your sons to understand what role they play as well so that's my number four number five last but not least a man will do a background check on your social media if your social media is screwed up, a man don't want to look up at you at all. He want to he wanna make sure he look you up. And if you sitting there with your tongue out, your booty shaking, twerking all over your social media, he's going to understand that you're trashy but not classy. So your social media tells a lot on both parts, man and woman. But man, don't, don't think that man don't. Don't look at your likes or look at what you value because it's not wrong having a lot of likes, but are you willing to give up all those likes for one like if it came down to it? I ain't saying he'll be like, oh, you get married to me, you get rid of your social media, but only like that matters is one like in this world, and that's having a husband and having a part life partner. The other likes that, that, that you looking at, those likes is just maybe even licks, so... At the end of the day, basically what I'm saying is, you know, a lot of people are going to like you, but they might not even love you. You got to worry about the, the L that matters more, more than anything is a love component. But that was my five for the video. I know I went on a little tangent right there, but it was the five, uh, five things that men judge about a woman. Go over the video one more time. First thing we're going to look at is the looks and the fitness. The second thing we'll look at is how many kids you got. The third thing we'll look at is your femininity or are you feminine or masculine. The fourth thing is your spirituality. And the fifth thing is the background check on your social media to see how you move on an everyday basis. And another thing, if you got Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, you on streaming with all these dating sites and stuff like that. That's just too much energy come from too many places. A man don't want to deal with a woman with all that energy. Because at the end of the day, it just basically shows you that you may be an attention whore. And you're not, fine. You're not in tune with yourself. If you got time for all three of those things. And working a full-time job and being a mother. You don't even know who you is. That's how a man will look at it. Because you really put these things on a pedestal. But at the end of the day, guys, I want you guys to stack attack your life. I want you to stack up your life. Plan, purpose, program, become the best version of you. And I hope to hear you guys in the comment section and I'll holler at you guys on the next video. Peace.